what's your take on streaming? I hear Snoop Dogg say, man, look here, man, them streaming, you stream a billion and man, you ain't really making no money. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your thoughts on streaming? Um, I think it all depends on how your deal structure, because it's some money in streaming. It's most it's money just, streaming? It's just about like how your deal structure and how much you stream type shit. Well, it seemed to me that gotta you... be some money in it because my label be giving me some money. Okay, I was, I was about to say, because the way you talk, you talking like you got a structured deal that you be getting. They got to be making money because right. they giving me money. Right. So it's some money in that shit, some real money in it. Let me ask you about your catalog. Future sold his catalog. I think he sold it 65, 75 million. Is that something you'd be interested in at some point? Yeah, I'll probably lay down, down the line for sure. Yeah. I only got a couple albums right now, though. Right. But you won't stop it, it on up getting it. It depends how, how much my hustle, how I apply my hustle. Right. Because, shit, I might fuck around and invest in something and become a billionaire and, and be able to pass my catalog down to my kids. Might right. not even have to sell my catalog. Right. I'm looking at the, the XL uh, freshman class. Lil Easy Vert, Yachty, Kodak, Denzel, Curry, Jim Herbo, David East, Lil Dick, Anderson Pack, Designer, and you. Boy, y'all hit a lick that year. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, y'all hit a lick. Yeah, for sure. It was some stars on that cover. Do you uh do you do you ever sit back and like man, considering what you, your story of how coming to to Atlanta from London or the East Side, your upbringing, there's a lot of things that could have happened that this didn't happen. Do you ever sit back and like, damn, man, this shit, I'm new, uh, savage, all right? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. But I'd be like, I still got to keep going though. You still trying to grind? Yeah, but and I do be like appreciative though. I do sit back and just. Daydream sometimes, like, damn, this shit could have went this way or this way type shit. Right. Sure. Your new project, American Dream, is projected to have a, your number one album. Um, first album in six years. How much have you grown since your first album? I think I, my sound just changed, like, my beat selection, like, just talking about deeper things and just like, I feel like I'm just growing up. Like I'm a grown up now. Right. Type shit. I was like a young nigga when I first came out. I was just saying anything type shit. Right. Samples on the album. How difficult was it, how difficult was it to clear the samples for some of the music that you used? Um, Jan do that, my a and she, mm -hmm. she be handling it. She be on, on top of all that shit. So she ain't really come back to me like nothing was too hard to right. clear this time, but it do get hard sometimes. It gets hard because they want to charge more than what you think it's worth, or they just don't want you to sample it. Some people just don't want you to sample that shit. Right. Like, um, one of my songs, like, they cleared it for the album, but then when it was time for me to do, like, commercials or, like, TV performances, they wouldn't clear it. So it was like, damn, I should have just never cleared it for the album in the first place. Cause right. now this song big and And you can't sing it. I can't really do nothing. Do it, right, right. Everything that I want to do with it. So why so why would they let you do it for the album but not let you do it commercially? I don't know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> do you ever look and see like, okay, American Dreams supposed to drop. And somebody else like, you know what? like three other artists might be dropping that week. Would you ever move yours up or push yours back? Or you like, hey, may the best man win? It depends on who dropping. <laughs> I'm going to keep it all the way real. If it's somebody too big, I'm going to get up out of their way. Right. But I'm going to normally know that before I even right. drop. Like, I'm going to know, like, you know, all the labels have, like, a calendar of what be coming out for the most part. Right. But, yeah, I, I get up out of somebody's way. But people get up out my way too, though. Right, they should. Yeah. I'm looking at uh, this. Are you the best rapper in that 2016 class? I feel like I am. Right. Yeah. But I feel like everybody in that class should feel like they is too. Right. But hell yeah, I feel like I am for sure. Dark Days, song of the album. You say your gun won't love you back and the block won't hug you back. That song? Yeah. I really was like in the booth, like talking like, to like a younger me, a, okay. uh, a young man in that same situation type shit. Like I was just like telling them like, 
yeah, this shit might look cool, but in reality, like, this is the truth. Like, this is what it really is right here. Like, this is the real mm -hmm. type shit. And I was just, like, talking to him in that way. Like, yeah, you you could say you love that block, but it, it don't love you. It ain't going to hug you back. Right. You can stay, like, hug the block. That's like posting on the block all night. It ain't gonna hug you back. You can love your gun, but your gun ain't never gonna love you back. Right. You're gonna, turn you're gonna lose you. your friends. After your candlelight, they ain't, you, ain't nobody gonna come check on your mama like that. They ain't gonna give her nothing. Wow. Like, you feel me? Like, that's just how shit go for real. You told kids to stay in school, talked about seeing friends take their last breath, talked about crying at night and mama's crying, talked about kids growing up without fathers, said even though you even thought about suicide. Uh, tell the story that don't want people to live. So what is it about that lifestyle that people find so, not people, but young men, especially a lot of young men of color, find so fascinating? When you young, you damn near get rewarded for dumb shit. Right. Like when you young. But it ain't like a real reward, but mm -hmm. it's like you get more attention. Mm -hmm. I say that like, like when we be growing up, like we don't be getting a lot of attention type shit. Like right. man, our daddy ain't, you no know, mama always mm -hmm. busy type shit. So like when you do bad shit, remember I told you like you get a counselor. Right. That was like some cool in school. Like if you had a counselor, like other kids looked at you like, like you were something type right. shit. So it's like, it just build up and build up and build up type shit. And you just used to getting rewarded for dumb shit or not dumb shit, but like bad shit right. that it just carry on. And then you just, before you know it, you a grown man and you just stuck in this shit type shit. But you were the one that made it. You got an opportunity to be a grown man, got an opportunity to look back and say, look, made some mistakes. Don't learn, don't do make the mistakes that I made. Yeah. You wanted a few. Yeah. Bless. Very. I know a lot of people that didn't. Um, on this album, Young Thug, Young Thug, uh, Thug recorded, uh, pre-recorded. Do you still talk to Thug? Um, yeah. Not like that, though. But right. We, we didn't talk. The 21 American Dream. You got a story, uh, uh, a movie coming out. Nah, that was a parody. A parody? Oh, okay. Do you think your story, you think you, your story is good enough to be a movie or a documentary? You got a very interesting story, Savvy. Do you think? You think so? I do. Because it's the American dream. I mean, think about how many people, you hear about this all the time, people migrating to America and you're an American success story. Not a whole lot of money, very tough upbringing, single parent. I mean, you had love and you could have gone down this path and you went down this path for a period of time. But somehow you come back down the straight and narrow and here we are. American love success stories. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it could be one day. They'll hate on it now, though. Why they go hate on it? Because they're going to be like, what the fuck? 21 Savage deserve a story for a movie by him right. for what he did. Right. You know how they do. When people say rap is declining, your answer is? Um, my show price is going up. <laughs> so it's already it declining. So it, can't, it can't be declining. Shit, my shit going up. Right. I just did the most streams in a day for for of my career, the biggest solo streams of my career. Wow. So it can't be declining. But I don't know though. Right. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.